We had lots of rehearsals at our house. You know, my parents were very cool enough to put up with all the noise downstairs, and we were rehearsed at our house, and even the house, they had like twin houses up in Mount Airy. So there was a wall, a shared wall between two houses, and the house next door had a band too, called Black Gold. And uh, there were so many bands, live music. And, and the other thing is that there was live music, there were music in the school system. Before they took music out of the school system, everybody was playing. You'd always, at three o'clock when schools let out, you see lots of kids walking around carrying instruments. It was, you know, the arts were really promoted and it was really a fertile time. And, you know, it was always, we had lots of rehearsals at our home and um, uh, then we, we found a place. Uh, our manager of Sundown, he had a, found a place that we could go to rehearse so we would drive to West Philly or wherever it was. I don't even remember where it was to, to rehearse. So we do that like two or three times a week. So I, and that was a period of time when I, I, I stopped eating dinner with my family for the most part. I would cook my own meals, usually just a hot dog or something. <laughs> when I was back when I was eating meat. <laughs> and it was just fun to just play music, rehearse. We rehearsed like two, three times a week. And then we played every weekend. And we had friends, we had fun, and it was a wonderful way to grow up, especially as a musician. And it was a very fertile time for it in Philadelphia, especially the pre-disco period. <laughs> After disco came out, I think I kind of, I, I started going to school down here at University of Arts. Well, it was called PMA, Philadelphia Music Academy, then it was changed to Philadelphia College of Performing Arts, PCPA which when I graduated from it, and then it was changed to University of the Arts when all the different art schools combined, and um, art, art colleges combined. And Philly International was right across the street uh, from um, PMA, right next door to PMA when I was going there. Philly International was very popular at the time and putting out lots of hit records, and I got to, some of my teachers at PCPA were doing a lot of those recordings, and I actually got the sub for, for my trombone teacher. If he couldn't make it, he would send me in sometimes to do the recording sessions. So I was, you know, in, in college doing reset recordings and things like that.